all right let's see how we can build a simple terminal from its source code you can navigate to circlus.org and go to sc tab this is the official website basically this is a really minimal terminal emulator it's a sim um, simple terminal it's in the name of course if you scroll down a little bit you will find all the features listed down here like keyboard handling mouse and keyboard shortcuts UTF-8 pretty important one white character support whatever that is and you will find the repository URL if you want to clone that this is the default project and if you want to add some features on top of that you can go to patches tab you will find some pretty important features as um, git patches for example there is scroll, scroll back if you want to scroll back to your previous logs you can by default it will not do that so you will have to add these patches on top of the, on top of the default project all right because of those missing features i'm not going to use the default project instead i'm going to use my version of it i will include the link in the description this is basically the default project but um, some patches on top of that to make it usable um, you will find a screenshot here I'm on a virtual machine by the way I can go back to my host machine right here so this is simple terminal pretty cool um, terminal in my host machine I'm only using this so it's it's great back to the virtual machine If you scroll down to the command section, you will find uh, this stuff. These are um, build tools, including the um, uh, compiler, and these stuff are uh, dependencies of the project. And I have included the font. It's in the configuration. You can ch change that if you go into config.dev.h this is the font name it will be using by the way the configuration file is a header file so you will have to recompile the project in order in order those changes to be affected cool first install let's install all the requirements i will copy this line let's fire up a terminal window First, I'm going to update my package list. Once that's done, I will proceed to install my requirements. Cool, now I can paste. Okay, the installation is done. And now we can clone the project. If you don't want to use git clone, you can download the zip file here I will navigate into workspace just a directory I have created and I'm going to git clone the project it says ST already exists let me remove that cool let's run the git clone command again it's done navigate into the folder now you can make clean to get rid of all the previous stuff if there are and i will run make command let's see if we got any errors so far it's good now we can proceed to install the terminal We, we will have to use sudo because it's by default um, moving all the binaries into user local you can you can change these two uh, somewhere in your home directory that will uh, that will that will install the terminal for user I'm just going to use user local 
and run that's it now you can go to your application um, what is this application menu or whatever type st here okay this is simple terminal that's how you build it and that's it have a nice day